the main challenge that the Ministry of People Empowerment and Elder Affairs of Barbados has undertaken is to unify the social services that they provide. So to make sure that every single citizen of Barbados who receive social assistance, they feel like they are given a fair deal. The system comes to help with this challenge in a way that it is going to unify the social protection and social assistance in Barbados. The Pulse MIS, which is the name of the system, it unifies around 20 plus programs. Those include the legal assistance, utility assistance, education assistance. I would also mention the emergency relief and there is also an assistance for the senior citizens. In parallel with Pulse MIS, we designed and developed the public portal and this will basically give chance to any citizen of Barbados to apply for any assistance to track the status of their application online. This is going to be a single window for the people to apply for assistance. For a single household, they will be able to tell what are the assistances that they are benefiting from and they will be able to identify gaps to make sure that the right people receive the right assistance. The system is designed in a very dynamic way, so later on when the system is delivered, if they present a new program, they can add those programs to the system and use it for assisting the citizens. Currently, the Ministry, together with us, we are preparing for the launch of the system. They are going to uh, implement a phased approach where first two departments will launch the system. The National Assistance Board and the National Disability Unit will be the first departments to launch. Phase by phase, all the other departments will also uh, join. In this kind of systems, delivering the system is the easiest part in terms of digitization. The hardest part lies within the change management. Last November, we had three weeks of capacity building activities and we closely collaborate with the change management expert from IDB to make sure that the, the system is adopted by the ministry and then it must also be extended to the public. We have development teams that are working on it using the core platform, which is low-code development. We follow agile development when we customize the system based on the requirement and then deliver it to the client to get feedback, to accommodate that feedback in the further releases. I really like Barbados and the people there. And when you're actually working there, doing the needs assessment or the trainings, you're interacting with the users of the system, feel how the system will change their lives.